Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely day. So in this song tutorial, I'm going to be making another Vinyan tutorial. Now, if you um, have no idea what Vinyan is, I highly recommend please check out my, uh, my beginner tutorial for Vinyan as I pretty much go over the big majority of Vinyan in that tutorial. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be going a bit more, uh, a little bit more in depth when it comes to the notes, or at least helping you getting started since I've heard a lot of people who have been informing me that the notes come off very intimidating. Yes, I'm going to admit myself. Um, with how VTuber programs are starting to become more node-based, like not just Vinyan, but also Wadudo, and uh, for VTubers who are going into Unreal Engine, yes, that's heavily node-based, or if you go into Blender and you're trying to create your own shaders or manipulate shaders, then that's all node-based. Like, pretty much everything's going node-based rather than coding, if that makes sense. But I'm going to try my best to um, help you out on creating your first, uh, your first couple nodes. Now, to show you how mine are set up, I have a lot of nodes. Now, I'm not going to be going over every single tab here. Um, all the tabs I have right here, I'm not going to go over every single one. I'm only going to go over pretty much my general Twitch node setup. And later down the line, I will make sure to help you guys uh, with other uh, stuff down down the line basically but as you can see here you can see there's a lot of nodes here and while you see how this is very intimidating here all this like oh my god how how did I do all this it's actually pretty simple uh, a lot of this is just duplication I'm gonna show you so what we're going to do uh, make sure you go to settings go into node graphs um, this is uh, by the way just a heads up this is a beta version of Vinyan uh, in case you're wondering but uh, this version of Vinyan will be released uh, one, pretty much um, after this video gets published. So, I'll say that. But basically, you're going to add a new graph. And pretty much, we're going to start off with making our first redeem. Now, to start off though, uh, which we're going to focus here. We have... Um, so for starters, we have, um, there's this little check right here that has advanced nodes. Um, personally, I recommend to have it on, but if you by chance don't want to be intimidated by the mass nodes, then I do recommend just keep this off though. Uh, but I will say there are going to be some, um, like later down the line, if I do talk about my specific node setup, yeah, there are n some nodes that I use that are only under advanced, um, but that's really just up to you, though. If you want to keep it simple and just start off, you know, not being too scared, perfectly fine. Usually, I recommend having this on, but that's up to you. But either way, we're going to start off with making a simple channel point redeem. Just something very simple. So we're going to make a bonk channel point. So we're going to click on channel points right here. And remember, um, Vinyan does not support YouTube as of right now because YouTube API sucks. So, um... But this is going to be Twitch only, so we're going to have a channel point redeem. Make sure you left click um, to move it around. And we're going to like put it here. You can also use your middle mouse button to scroll farther, especially, you know, for if your nodes get a lot more longer. And what we're going to do, um, once you add a channel point, we're going to look for the bonk in the action nodes right here. You're going to click on bonk, and then you're going to put it right next to the first channel point. You're going to name this bonk or wherever you want. And then just uh, click on this yellow little box here and then click and drag to the green box here. And then what you're going to do, just to test out your first ever redeem, right click on it, click on send signal, and then what will happen is that I just got beaten by a bat. Uh, and you can do that too. Um, so pretty much you just made your first ever redeem. Don't you feel proud of yourself? Um, there's also other stuff you can do as well. You can also set up a channel point. Uh, so create another channel point here. And let's call this food. We're going to add a food action node. And this will be very simple, basically. Um, and pretty much, uh, you just do the same thing, just like what we did with Bonk. And you just set it to, um, you know, recommend, you know, set it to a hand. Let's say I want it set to my left hand. And then a cookie. Now, for my case, since this version of Vinyan is beta test and I can do leap motion, but like I said, you guys will get the leap motion setup going on as well. Let me go ahead, have my leap motion set up, and I will show you. So give it a moment to 
give it a moment to um, pop up. Hold on. All right, here you go. And then what we have to do, um, here's my hand. That's the wrong hand. So I'll go ahead and swap that to right hand. And then we're going to click on send signal. And then the cookie will pop up on my hand. And you just put the hand closer to your face, and boom. And yes, I recommend having a leap motion or any sort of hand tracking. Webcam works as well. Uh, you just make sure that in general settings you set up a VMC port, basically. Just remember that. Um, but anyways, though, I just wanted to at least, like, show that, basically. But either way, uh, you just made another redeem, which is the food. You can also set one up where there's confetti or even yeet. Um, as well, so a channel point, for example, and then we're going to do a yeet for this one and do the same thing. Set that to yeet. Set this to, let's say, like, 15, and then it's going to take 5 seconds to respawn, and then right-click and send signal, and then you just yeet your character. You see how, so far, this is getting easy, though? Does this make sense when it comes to at least starting off with your nodes? But... What if we want to go a little bit more intense about this? Not too intense, of course not. But what if we want to get a little bit more challenging? Like, let's say, for example, we want to have it where, let's say, hmm, let's take a look what we got here. Let's say we want to spin our character, right? So, we make a channel point, right? And you said a spinner. However, um, I will say this. For the spinner, I can set this to 10, and I set this to spin, but if I right-click and send signal, I don't stop spinning, basically. So there are going to be times where there are some nodes that don't have an ending or a stop to it. So how are you going to make it where, let's say for spin, um, you know, you have it where it'll be set to, you'll basically have it where it's like, you know, it stops at a specific amount of time, basically. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to start off step by step on this. So first of all, keep your channel point right here. We're going to call this spin, or you can call it spin. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to start off, uh, which, like I said, we're going to be needing the conditional nodes here and such, which... Like I said, um, it is recommended to have the advanced nodes activated uh, so you can do the timer sort of base nodes. Uh, this is also included in the, um, if you set up the Wizard of Vignon and you set up the Water Redeem, uh, that this uh, sort of setup for the um, Redeem should be there as well. But I'll show you step by step so that way you can like follow along and then remember it. So basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a, param a filter parameter. So we're going to do that. So it's going to be a parameter filter. And we're going to, let's say we're going to name this uh, Spin. And we're going to have it where it's on. So we're going to set it to where it's on. And we're going to connect these two little parts right here. Right? You following up? And we're going to say, right now, we want it where it's set to zero. And we're going to have another node where we're going to have it as a start timer. So... Let's find the start timer right here. Where is it? I'm going to try and find it because it, it's a little, it can be a little challenging to find certain nodes. Um, but that's perfectly fine. Don't worry. Where is the time node? Time, 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 time. Ah, there you are. Start timer. Um, so we're going to have it where this one will be spin off. And we have to set it to a certain amount. Now, you can have it where it's set to, uh, well, basically it says in milliseconds, uh, 1,000 equals 1 second. So let's say, for example, if you want it for 10, um, let's say, for example, you want it for, like, let's say um, 10 seconds, then it's going to be 10,000 for that case. If you want it set to, let's say, 30 seconds, then you can set it to 30,000, for instance, basically. Um, but I'll set it to 10,000 for that case, basically. It's 10,000, and we're going to go ahead and connect these two together. So that's what we're going to do. And then after that, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a set parameter. So we're going to find the set parameter, which, like I said, this does get intimidating, but follow along with me. Uh, but it's right here under number parameters. We're going to have a set param. 
Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have it where it's going to be being on. And remember, when it comes to parameter filters, you gotta remember uh, the names. The names are very important. So basically, I'm going to set this to one. So what's happening here so far is that if channel points, which is being, um, basically as of right now, this is set to where um, basically it's set to zero. Like this is the start. And then once it's basically activated, it's going to have it where the timer, start timer right here, um, basically in 10 seconds, speed off will be active, if that makes sense. But let me, uh, let me keep going with the rest of it and then it'll make more sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to then add a timer. Uh, we're going to add a timer node. Real, I'm going to do my best to find it. Da, 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 da. Timer, timer node. Da, da. There you are. Timer node's up at other callbacks. So there it is. Hello, little timer node. How you doing? And we're going to have it where it's going to be spin off. So basically, these two little nodes right here, they're going to be communicating with each other. Hello, little nodes. How you doing? Um, so we're going to um, also have another set param We're going to have another set parameter as well. Which I need to remember where it is. I believe it's down here. There you are. So a set parameter right here. And then we're going to have it where this one will be spin on. Right? And we're going to have it where this will be set to zero. And then we're going to connect these two together. And then what we're going to do is that in the between right here, we're going to have the spin. Uh, the spinner. And then this part is going to connect right here. And then this part is going to connect right here. And just to show you, let me just move these together. Uh, and I'm going to set this to, let's say, um, for example, 50. Like 50 speed or something. So, and I'm just making sure that I'm correct on my notes here. Basically what's happening is that right now with spin, it's currently at zero. But once this starts, you know, once somebody redeems this spin uh, channel point, what's going to happen is that the spin will go from 0 to 1 and what will happen is that it's going to activate the spinner right here and then um, basically you know with the timer because uh, we have the timer here this timer is going to be activated and it's going to trigger this one for the timing basically so it's going to trigger for 10 seconds and then what will happen is that once this timer runs out this timer here is going to speak to this node right here and it's going to say Okay, the spinner, the little spin, um, spin on is no longer active, basically. So it's going to turn off. And allow me to show you um, how it's going to work on my model. So we're going to right click and send signal. We're going to wait 10 seconds uh, for the spinning. But yes, you can see how intense it is. Oh, jeez. I should have not put in it to freaking um, the 50. But you see what I mean. Uh, you see, after 10 seconds, um, this, the timer, the spin, is no longer active. And this is very good, especially, like, because you don't want to spin forever. You only want to spin for a certain amount of time. And this doesn't have to be just for spinning as well. This can also apply to water, to slime, to wind, rain, uh, even scaling your model. So if you want to make your model giant or small, uh, or even outfit stuff. But this is basically just the, the base uh, node setup that will allow you to be able to do that timer and this is what I recommend you know this is pretty much my entire uh, node setup right here a lot of this is literally that formula basically what I just showed you right there you just literally replicate pretty much all I pretty much did was rename it to where the channel points like for this one is MLG glasses where if I send the signal I have MLG glasses and basically I just changed the name so for the you know, basically for the parameter and the timer, I just changed the name from, let's say, spin to MLG glasses. And then the part where the spin node is at, you just change it to, for this case, um, for like my case, I have to have two different nodes. One is the blend shape that removes my glasses and the other one that enables the, the MLG glasses, basically. And yes, you can have multiple in this sort of area, basically. So in the graph here like you can have it where it's not only just spin you can have it where you could be rainbow as well like I could do that right now um do this real quick 
We'll have it where the rainbow is like fast. I'm going to have this a bit more shorter. So I'm going to set this to only 5,000. And then I'm going to have it where this is going to be 20 instead. Or actually, I'm going to make this 15. So we're going to do that and I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn into a rainbow spinning kana. Wee. And pretty much after uh, five seconds are up, I'm all good and it's reset. So it's basically that formula. It's very simple. Do you understand? If you don't understand, you better say in the comments. Uh, but yeah, you pretty much just duplicate this. That's it. Now, if you... Now, I will say this right now. In the description, I do have this exact node set that you can download. So if you really do not want to make this yourself, and you just want to keep reusing this exact node over and over, yes, I have the... I basically have the node in the description. You can download it and use it however you want, pretty much. Because that's pretty much the Vignon default wizard uh, for the water, basically. I'm just making sure that, you know, you guys can have more accessibility with getting that node set up. But yeah, pretty much it's very simple. Like, for example, binary kind of simple, you know? You can do a lot of stuff uh, with Vignon, basically. Uh, whether it's water or anything like that. What you can also do as well... You can even have it where you can do bits as well. So instead of, you know, instead of this type of node, uh, we can have it where we can do bits here. So this is a little bits right here, right? You see this? We can have it where basically, let's say, um, for instance, we want rubber duckies to slap our face. And yes, we can do that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on, you know, the bits on the callback. And then we're going to click on throw item in the action trigger. We're going to go here. We're going to connect these two together. What we're going to do, let's say we're going to have the minimum bits be, I don't know, uh, one bit. And the max bit's going to be ten bits, for example. Let's say that. And we're going to find the rubber ducky, which is default in Vignon. The little, um, the extra blob props I have here, that's, uh, you can download on, uh, Sue V's Kofi. Um, those are free, you can get them as well. And basically, you can set up where the amount to throw, let's say it's five, and they destroy after, I don't know, uh, three seconds. And you can have the flinch power be high, or it could be a little bit. You can also have it where it could be giant duckies if you want. Like, I could show you. We're gonna max that hecker out. And, um, then you can also, you know, adjust and such. You can even have it where it hits other parts of your body. But do remember that as of right now for Vignon, uh, it's only, collider-wise, it's only going to affect, um, your, pretty much whatever is shown on the avatar collider. So the mouse collider, this is only for, like, when you redeem food. Uh, but for the avatar clients, which is just head and the torso, those are the only ones that will actually be affected the most. So please keep that in mind if you do plan on having it where someone slaps your um, arm or something. I'm sure there'll be an update, maybe, uh, or maybe some mention regarding like the whole body, like full body, like collision and such. But I won't get into that as I'm still looking into that. But either way, um, well, actually, I'm not sure if I am looking into that or anything like that. I don't know. But, either way, but, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to send signal, and there's giant duckies! <gasps> oh my god! And I'll show you one more time. Giant duckies! Look how massive they are! They're beautiful! You know? So, yeah. There you go. A simple bit redeem. You just did it. Wow. That's even better. Um, and what you can also do as well, let's say you want to do something where if somebody subscribes, um, you not only get yeeted, but you also get beaten up at the same time. So let me show you how to do that. Subscriptions. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have confetti, which, uh, thankfully for the confetti, um, it only just does it once, um, so it should be fine. And then bonk. This is just another simple re redeem you can do. Subscriptions. Um, oh wait, I also forgot to do the yeet. Hold on, I forgot to do the yeet, but there's that. This is how I actually did mine, mine actually. So, there you go. Uh, let's say five seconds. Subscriptions, I get yeeted, confetti, and then the bonk! <laughs> the bonk! Yeah, dead kinda. But yeah, pretty much, um, there's how you do subscription, uh, the subscriptions there. You can even do follows and raids as well, so if there's like a raider mount, uh, you can also do that as well. 
and then of course follows pretty much the same principle as well as what I did with subscriptions whatever you like basically it's really just up to you um and of course there's also um there's a lot of other stuff you could definitely do with Vignon such as you know saying a web socket so for example if you're gonna do something like uh, sh let's say you have a stream deck and you want to do some crazy stuff with it, or if you're doing like touch portal or something, and you want to utilize that in Vignon, you can definitely utilize web sockets as they are supported in Vignon. So that's definitely really good. You can also have it, let's say for example, you want to have it where you can trigger your expressions, right? Now, I'm going to be making a dedicated tutorial about how I exactly did this, but to at least ex explain it for those who want to get a head start, uh, until I make that dedicated tutorial, because the way... The way I actually, um, the way I actually made my expression system is not, not for the faint of heart. Um, it's this node right here. This one actually causes the entire program to lag. Uh, so there's this setup. This is how I was able to do the whole, uh, trigger system with my hotkeys. Just exactly like the VC phase base, uh, setting, basically. I will make sure there's a dedicated tutorial, and yes, I will make sure there's a JSON file for you guys, so that way you don't have to suffer doing this. I promise. Um, but I'm gonna have to make sure it's, like, different, but stay tuned for that tutorial whenever I make it, but, um, I'm definitely gonna need some more time with that, but, yeah. Uh, the way I've set that up, it's very laggy, um, I don't recommend being as insane as me with that. I am aware that there is a more simplified way of doing it, but I have tried a simple way and for some reason it just didn't want to work. Um, I'm sure in the future I'll, you know, either me or maybe Suvi will help figure out a more simplified way of doing the, um, the base blend shape stuff like DC face, but even then, um, for now I have a more complicated way. But to start you off very simple though, just a very simple start. Let's say for example we want this to be one, right? We're going to do something very simple. We want to have it where, let's say, we want to emote. Let's say the, I don't know, I want to be angry. Uh, you can set this to, uh, let's say, 100. And you can set this where this is like 0 0.5. And you can set it as use toggle. So you can toggle it on the blend. Uh, you can toggle it on the hotkey, basically, like this. Um, but do remember, if you have something like where, if I were to do... Um, if I were to do like uh, a smile and then I press the angry, you can see how it's going to mix into each other basically. See? This is, yeah, this is, uh, that's why I had the other node that I showed earlier. Uh, it allows me to prevent the expression from mixing, which I, I like I said, I'll make a dedicated tutorial on that because that, that one's a little too complicated. But either way, if you are in, if you're wondering how to do expressions, at least in a simple, the simplistic way, yes, it's gonna be that. You gotta be careful to mix it. So kind of treat like VTube Studio, where VTube Studio, I don't think there's a way of doing the whole like VT phase base uh, expression saying saying thing, where basically you can prevent the expression from mixing, basically. So they're not additive blend shapes, if that makes sense. Uh, so you can have it where it's like this and then that, pretty much. So. Up to you, basically. Uh, it doesn't have to be limited to blend shapes either. This can also be, like, let's say, an animation from VSF Avatar. If you have a VSF Avatar model, you can have it where a hotkey plays an animation. Oh, and speaking of which, actually, um, there is also, um, uh, by the way, just to also say this as well, before I get to the dancing, th once again, there are a lot of other stuff you can do with VNN. You can also do Pulsoid, um, which basically is a heart rate monitor for your VTuber avatar and stuff. It's really cool. Um, so, like, let's say if you're doing, like, horror games or maybe a fitness stream or something like that, uh, if your heart rate goes higher, your character will be, like, let's say the face turns red or the character would go yeetus, um, at a certain heart rate. That would be funny, but... You can do that. You can do that in Vignon. You can also have, of course, World and all the other cra um, other crazy stuff, basically. But like I said, I pretty much went over all the other stuff. Um, I went over the other stuff in the beginning tutorial, so please make sure you check that out. But either way, um, I will say um, you can also have it where you can even play MMD animations as well. Now, I will uh, make sure I uh, heavily emphasize this. If you are going to commercialize off your stream, do not use this. Because MMD motions are under fair use and they do not allow commercial use. 
Um, it's still, you know, fun. It's nice that Vinyan has native MMD support for those who want to make MMD videos without having a PMX model. But if you are going to commercialize off your stream and you're going to be using this as a redeem, I don't recommend that because you're commercializing off of other people's works, basically. Um, because a lot there's a lot of MMD motions that don't allow donations or uh, anything like that, you know, and donations, um, if you're streaming, for example, and, you know, because you are probably going to make, make donations from Twitch subscribers and such, yeah, um, be careful with that. So if you are, let's say, a Twitch affiliate, I don't recommend having this, but if, if you want, I mean, uh, I'm not stopping you, but I don't, I just don't recommend it, uh, if you're a Twitch affiliate. If you are just a, you know, if you're not, a not a Twitch affiliate, uh, you should be perfectly fine, I guess, as long as you're just not making any money if you ever present or use this motion in your streams. Um, also, you have to credit as well because you did not make that MMD motion. Like, if you took, let's say, um, the ch Chiki Chiki Bang Bang um, dance motion, you have to make sure to credit the, the animator. Uh, if, um, if you made it yourself, then you can credit yourself, but if you did not make it yourself... Um, then you got credit. So please keep that in mind. And if you do wish to commercialize off of somebody else's motions, please contact the creator of that motion and get permission from them. Uh, keep that in mind. And also be careful with game rip animation as well. I have to really heavily emphasize all this stuff because when it comes to MMD stuff, oh boy, there's a lot of chaos and copyright issues when it comes to MMD stuff, which is really crazy. So I'm warning you right now, VTubers, either be careful with this thing or don't touch it. But you can still have fun with it though. Like you can, for example, make some funny Twitter videos and have the MMD motion as long as you properly credit. But if you're going to commercialize off of it, yeah, uh, be very careful. So yeah. Uh, and also, just because another VTuber used the MMD motion, they profit off of it on their streams and stuff, does not mean you should do it. But once again, I ain't stopping ya. That's just, that's just my warning to you because I'm, I know about the MMD community. But either way, um, good luck when it comes to MD stuff, but I'll quickly show you how to set it up. So you can have it where, let's say, there's a hotkey, or you can have it where there's a, um, a channel point, for example. We can call this a dance, and then we can have it where, you know, you can play an MD motion, set this here, and basically, you know, set up your VMD file camera, you know, adjust your camera settings here and such, and then have a music file as well, so the the music will play. Please be careful with DMCA stuff because, once again, this MMD thing can cause copyright issues. Not just the VMD motions, not just the camera motion, but also the music as well. So please be very careful with this thing. There's so much copyright. But yeah, just be careful with the music file because you know how Twitch gets with DMCA and you don't want to deal with that, so yeah. Uh, but either way, um, have fun with this though. That's pretty much how you can do it, but I just recommend stick with it on non-commercial stuff. You know, simple, simple, you know, fair use non-commercial videos or whatever the heck, I don't know. Just up to you. But anyways, enough of me ranting about MMD stuff. Um... We can also have it where we can even have uh, camera hotkeys as well, for instance. And in case you're wondering how the heck that works, basically what you're going to do, for instance. So, uh, to start off, to start off, uh, just to quickly show you how to do that, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the camera settings right here. Set your default to whatever position you want. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, let's say, for example, select camera one. And then you're going to position your character somewhere. Either you're going to click on set position, basically. Now, keep in mind that the way Vinyan works is that if you were to select camera one again, it's not going to show you the exact position. You're going to have to actually rely on going to the node graph, saying like a hotkey, uh, a hotkey right here for the camera, basically, just to see it, basically. Which I have, um, I actually have mine right over here, though. Um, I have my camera right over here, basically. Uh, simple camera hotkeys. And, yeah. Basically, if I press on Shift F4, yeah, the camera will actually show. And then Shift uh, F6, normal. So, yeah. Um, pretty much... Oh, did I accidentally... Oh. Yeah, I accidentally changed screens. Ah! But, yeah, you could do some camera stuff, basically. I apologize for showing my other my other overlays. But, yeah, you get my point, basically. 
Um, but either way, though, yeah, you can do that, and you can do camera stuff as well. There's a lot of stuff you could do, uh, with Vignon, uh, pretty much. I can't really, uh, go over every single, single type of, uh, like I said, uh, I can't go over every single, like, how did I do every single type of, like, you know, set up here, but like I said, I pretty much gave you the base, uh, the base node setups that you need to basically be able to replicate this entire thing, basically, if you want to. As long as you take your time and be, you know, be patient with Vignon, you'll be able to do this, basically. And it's pretty much just this. Uh, this simple graph right here, which I'll make sure I'll also put this in the description as well in case you do wish to reuse this, basically. Um... But pretty much, this overall, if you can make this by yourself, for the most part, which, I mean, you can still reuse the node if you really want to, but once again, it's really up to you on how you want to set it up, if you want to add more, or less, or keep it simple. But really, all just this, this is all pretty much the basic node setup you really need just to get started on Vignon. And also, of course, the camera and all the other stuff I just showed you. So yeah, I hope that I at least help you out, at least get a little bit more comfortable with Vignon. If by any chance you still feel intimidated, do not worry. I do recommend please join Suvadrail's Discord server because pretty much, for the most part, a lot of the Vignon tutorials are pretty much in uh, Suvadrail's Discord server. There are there are many Vignon forums. You can there's a Vignon forum with multiple uh, stuff that you can read to learn more about Vignon. Uh, if you need a lot more help, there's also a uh, you know, Suvidrail and many other peepers as well and other beta testers who can were, you know, more experienced with Vignon who can also help you out being able to understand how to use the program, how nodes work, and they can even help you out with troubleshooting your nodes, especially if you want to go more complicated and such. Um but I hope that this helps you out though, and please let me know what you recommend regarding uh, Vignon tutorials though. I do plan of course making the expression one and I also hope to probably do some other um tutorials, especially, uh, something go along of the Vignon world, you know, wink, wink, um, which I really gotta get into doing that, but yeah, um, but feel free to drop down your recommendations on what you want me to teach you regarding Vignon stuff, and I'd be happy to help you out, um, I may not be super, super, um, nerdy when it comes to Vignon, but at least I have enough knowledge to be able to teach you guys on how to, you know, understand Vignon and get more comfortable with it and such. But, I hope that this helps you out. Um, I'll leave my socials here in case you ever need any more help and such. Uh, and also, please check the description, all the resources, um, you know, going to Suvidero's Discord is in the description, as well as the sample JSON files, which I will show you before I leave. Go to the node graph. And if you're going to load this node, for example, all you have to do is you're going to press on the load button right here, uh, click on the yes uh, on the pop-up menu, go to File Explorer, find the JSON file you downloaded, load it, like double click on it, and you're done. It will automatically load it, but do keep in mind, if you already have like a pre-existing node and such, it will override it, so please be careful. And make sure you give, uh, give it a nice name, let's say uh, a tutorial, for example, you can name it however you want, and boom. You just, there you go, um, nodes, basically. But yeah, I hope that helps you out as well. And you can also delete and add and stuff, but yeah. Uh, play around with Vignon, have fun, and yeah. With that being said, though, hey, 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 hey